Sergeant K9 here reporting for duty, and last we left off in the Rim World. It's uh, it's going a lot better. It's going so much better than the uh, episode before the last. The last episode before well, this two episodes ago, uh, we were looking like we were going to fail. We were looking like our colony was going to collapse, and that we weren't going to be having a good time. And but fortunately, we've gotten two more people. We've captured another one. We bought one. One random dude joined our colony, so now we have a uh, one, two, three, six people. And we also gave Nagarka peg leg, so he can actually move around. And it shouldn't be too big of a problem because all he does is research and make food for us. So it really shouldn't be that um, big of an issue. I don't think so. And everything else is doing pretty good. You know, I'm gonna make this priority a little bit higher. Everyone should all clean at some point in their life, and Butamis should become the number two cook right now. Even though technically he's a better cook for, for now, but I think that's mainly because, you know, we lost uh, so many people. Oh, the solar flare radiation is gone, and now we have uh, the great old power back to our base, which is fantastic. This guy, I don't know if he's going to live. You know, he, he maybe, maybe. Uh, he's, he, or if we're even going to be able to recruit him. 98 difficulty? That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, we're not giving him any medicine, but we will, um, I guess release when he's good. I don't think I'm going to keep him, and I don't want to sell anyone into slavery. Last time we sold someone into slavery, it did not go, look at this. Minus 19, it's about to start expiring, but it doesn't expire for another week, man. Like, Ryan was... And a lot of people were pretty pissed off we did that. <laughs> that we tried to sell someone into slavery. What? Uh, that's unfortunate. You know, bad things happen. I understand. Oh my god, freaking... No! Freaking Steam uninstalling the... I was, I was uninstalling a bunch of games. And now freaking Steam has popped up and decided that it's more important than RimWorld. Okay, there we go. It's gone now. Alright, yeah, I'm installing a bunch of games because I had, like, so many games installed and trying out, like, that I was thinking about playing. Whoa. Jingles got an infection? Well, I'm not... I can't say I'm surprised that he got an infection. To be honest, I can't say I'm surprised. Look... Look at all this blood in here. Definitely not a great place to, uh... To be having. Or n not a great... Area? I don't know what the words I'm... Not, not a great place to rest. Definitely high chance for infection. Um, so I guess we'll, we need to make our medical area bigger. Well, we don't need to, but I want to make our area, medical area bigger that, so it encompasses this, like, crevice in the wall we have. And then I want to break off over here and make a, uh, prisoner facility, because this area is just not very good. We've had a lot of people beat the crap out of each other, and there's just blood everywhere. Butamis actually gonna go treat them. Eh, who cares? You know, good enough. It doesn't need to be amazing. All right, let's see here. Damn, we have so many graves. We need we need to get crematation up as well. We also probably need to make a battery area. And Genghis got another infection. I'm not surprised because if we look at this room over here, let's see. Ah, minus seven dirty and a minus ten hideous. And it's repulsive. Has no wealth and its space is it's, the space is actually not that bad. Let's see this room. That was rather tight. I mean, I I could expand this later. You know, open it up maybe like two blocks back here and make and two blocks over here and make it a little bit bigger for them in the future. Because I guess it's uh rather tight or whatever and it's a little bit dirty. You know, that's not my problem, man. It's not my problem. So maybe sometime in the future we'll do that. I mean we can do it right now, technically. Ooh, exotic good trader? Okay, hey, yo, yo. Um Who's our talking kind of guy? Is it Nagark? I think Nagark is our talking kind of guy. He's the one with the uh, 10 social. Yeah, let's let's go talk to these exotic good traders real quick, Nagark. I know you're pretty busy. Another infection on him? Uh, I don't think that dude's going to make it through, unfortunately. Three different infections? I don't know. It doesn't sound very good to me. Let's see. Uh, I got some psychic shooters that we can sell or buy. We can actually buy one from him. I don't really care about that. Uh, world medicine. Glitter world, world medicine. Don't really care. Alpha beaver. Rhinoc- Rhinoc- I almost said Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros? No, Rhinoceros. That would be pretty cool to get, but that's really, really expensive. So I think I'm just going to try and sell some stuff to him. Let's see. What do we got that we can sell? Some cloth. 
t-shirts and stuff. Let's get rid of this awful clothing that has like no percentage on it because it's really not helping us right now. And 30, yeah, I think everything else is pretty good. This is pretty bad. So, mmm, I'm keeping my synth or jackets because those are pretty damn good. You know, good for protection. Power armor, I'd love to get that, but I just don't have that. A thrombone horn? What the? Oh, that's, that's worth so much. I'm thinking we should probably should have killed that thrombone that came in here because that's worth like 2,000. Oh, man. The stuff that I just missed out on. If only I can travel back in time. I've done that too many times, though. Let's be honest here. I've traveled back in time too many times in my day. Um, Ryan, why, why are you so mad? Because of the prisoner still? Yeah, like pretty much everything that makes Ryan mad is just, you know, any little small thing is just angry. He's got an angry Ryan on us. All right. Where'd all those uh, muffalos go? We need to train them sometime soon. Uh, let's see, is there anything that we can uh, hunt out here? I wish I could find animals and, like, select them and, you know, then hunt them. That would be awesome. Um, we're still trying to get those... Ooh, okay. Right here. Perfect. Hunt these. Some, some new deer came into town, and they came in the wrong part of town, to be honest. And they're about to get shot up, all right? Uh, Butamis, I want you to actually prioritize hunting this one. Because we do need meat really bad. So pew pew, get him him. Shouldn't take too much to be able to shoot her down. There we go. Good stuff. Grab that. We need to make food really, really bad. So I don't know how much food that's actually going to make for us, but I'm sure it's not too bad. We, have, we actually have weapons? We should probably give our guys weapons. Uh, we, that has a weapon. The Gark does not have a weapon, so we'll give him a weapon when he wakes up. And does this Hay House dude have a weapon? He does. He has a pump shotgun. All right. What was our other... This guy... <laughs> this guy... I don't know, man. If he survives through this, maybe he'll be a great guy. But <laughs> as of right now, not looking too good. Not looking too good at all. Actually, um... Who do we want to name this guy? This is the new guy. Hay House. Simon's Hayden. I'm going to name this guy... Because it's so close to my brother's name, which is not Hayden, but it's something very similar. I'm going to name this guy B-Dog. Because it's a great name. B-Dog. And it sounds like a great hunter's name. Come on, you have to admit. B-Dog? That sounds like a total hunter. Or a freaking bounty hunter, 100%. Where did you get that? Did you just pop that out of your butt? Like, you just walked around and a simple meal fell out of you? Interesting. What, what are you, why are you storing it over there? I don't understand. Okay, well, anyways, I don't know where uh, Butamus is off to. Where is he? Did you go treat this guy with all of his infections? No, he's not treated. All right, Butamus, what are you doing? You're still sleeping. That's why. Butamus, I'm sorry to wake you up. But you're going to have to prioritize treating Genghis. You don't have to. I mean, if you really don't want to, that's perfectly fine by me. But, you know, it probably should uh, help out his major infection. Hmm. That actually wasn't a bad treat. That's pretty good. I don't think he's going to make it through, though, because he's already into major and he's only got 30%. More than likely, he's going to die. More than likely. If I had to guess, that's a dead Arino dude right there. Hmm. We should probably sell these pistols. Probably. Probably cut down some more trees. All right, Ryan, you're, you're getting angry all the time, right? Look at Nicole. She's going at it. She's an inventor? Hmm. What does that mean? That means she's uh, a crafter. Interesting. Uh, can we make anything useful in this? I feel like this is so useless. After making it, like a mace, a spear, a shiv, a knife, a long sword, a gladius. Like, none of that stuff is actually good at all. To be 100% honest. It's actually pretty damn poop. Where'd the, where's the other hair sleep? Over here? Oh, look at that. So nice. So nice. Can we, um... We could try and train them. Intelligence is intermediate, so hair, is that saying bunnies are kind of smart, but not that smart? I guess, I don't know. This guy? Yeah, I, I highly doubt that he's going to make it. I would like to say, you know, maybe he is. Maybe. But, I don't know. And we don't really want to walk in there where he has, he has berserk thoughts. It's definitely not a good thing. This definitely needs to be cleaned. His, his mood is going up, though. 
So that that is something, you know, of, of a bonus right there. So maybe he'll come out of being, you know, insanely crazy. Is he just he's just standing there in his bed? I guess he doesn't really have anything to do, so that's what we got. He's just he's just standing there very angrily looking at us. <laughs> oh man. What is everyone doing? You you you're smelting some stuff. Good job. We have granite. We should probably cut, you know, some some stone up soon if we have a stone cutting table. Uh, you know what, Gingles? Just, you're not gonna make it, I don't think. I don't think, man. I don't think you're gonna make it. You can try all you want. We're gonna feed you. That's nice. You know, look at Butamus. Such a kind guy, even though you're, like, pretty much insane right now. Hideous environment. Yeah, I think if this guy doesn't make it through, then we're not gonna be capturing any prisoners soon because we really do need to make a better area. I think we're gonna cut it down this way. And put a wall, like, right here. All the way to here. Yeah, it's gonna be a big mining project. Well, maybe not that big, but a decent-sized mining project arena. Ryan, quit being in a terrible mood, alright? This is finally decreasing, thanks- thankfully. You slept in a cold and why? It's not cold in here, it's 11 degrees! Bruh, 11 Celsius! That's what, like, you know, at least 40 or 50 degrees, right? I think. Maybe bump this up a little bit. Maybe they're just being little punks, right? It should it should not be or not be that bad in there. This isn't heated very well. Maybe we need to throw down another heater. I don't know. Maybe. I guess it's kind of a large area for one heater. But in the meantime, like, it's really not that bad, right? I guess I can throw one down. Because I would I would like to get rid of that mood negative. If you know what I mean, because it's just not good. Uh, that guy's probably, like, far gone. Jingles, how you looking? Extreme, extreme, extreme. Mmm. Oh, wow, you actually might make it, though. I think you are. Oh, never mind. You were so close to being able to make it. I have to be honest, you were really close. You were 2% away from developing immunity. If Butamus was just a little bit faster, man, I think he, he would have done it. But oh well, alright, it's time to deconstruct all of this. No more prisoners. Not happening. And then, uh, let's bring out the mining orders. So, let's see here. I want to get rid of all of this. All the way to, like, right there. And then we want to get all rid of all of this. And then this is going to become our medical area. And then we're going to branch off in this direction. And then this is going to be our prison. We're gonna make it long. We're gonna have like a... I guess that's good enough? Mmm... Maybe add two more blocks over here so that it's even-ish? Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's even. And then we need to deconstruct this wall right here. And then I think we need to deconstruct all of this... ...and this. No, not, not the beds. I don't want to deconstruct the beds, so let's not do that. There we go. I think we're all nice and set up now that we should be able to uh, get to work on this. This uh, area... Oh, we found some uh, compacted steel. This hydroponics area has yet to be finished. But, you know, that's that's going to take some time. It's going to have to wait a little bit longer for that before we can get that set up. Plus, we're probably going to need a lot more power. Um, we did get the bulk of good traders coming by again, so let's see what they have to offer. Medicine... It would be nice. We can't exactly afford it right now, that which is unfortunate. Um, packaged survivor meals. Oh, do they have? They do have rice. We should be able to make some meals with this. So let's uh, grab a bit of rice. No, all 200 of their rice. No, thank you. That seems a little pricey. Uh, 42. Let's uh, shrink that down by one. We're gonna grab 30 rice from them. That's you know three meals. We could sell the boar skin. I think I am. Let's sell some boar skin. And then we can sell... I don't want to get rid of my steel. And I think everything else is fine. We do need to start finding some things of value. I think we do need to start making a better defense zone around us. Because we're probably going to start getting some bigger groups coming in sometime soon. And it would be really... N what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This thing landed right on... Uh, Alright, well, you know what? 
Seems like a good time to call Professor Rock. Um, you know, request military aid. Would you come on over? Thank you. I would really appreciate you coming by. We're not going to attack that yet, but these guys should be coming over here. Sweet, all right, and they should take care of this for us. That is just not looking good, man. Not looking good at all. What is this walls? We probably need to learn how to make marble walls. I think we can, but we need to make the marble blocks first. Ryan successfully tamed a hare, 5% chance. Nice, and named it hare number three. Cool stuff, buddy. All right, so they're not attacking that yet. Everyone, draft up. Come out here. All right, you stand. Well, actually, Butamis, you go over here, or right there. Ryan right here, Nagark, like right here, Killer right there, Nicole, you could step like right over, I, I'm not clicked on Nicole, there we go, and then I think we're all good here, so, what? Out of range? What? Oh, you have a pump shotgun, that's why, so you gotta get a little bit closer, I can get you like right here, okay, fire? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little concerned. I'm just having you guys know. I'm a little concerned. Not sure if exactly we're going to be able to do this. Or if we're going to survive at all. Nagark doesn't even have a weapon. So, Nagark, you should probably go over and, like, pick up this survival rifle. Oh, God. It's, it's alive. It's here. Is it dead? It's injured? Oh, man. We might make it through. I was... What? Oh, God. The walls are protecting me so good. This thing is still... Oh my god, why are you guys just standing here? Why are you not helping me? I requested military aid. It's hurting itself. I think this honestly landed in the perfect position. Pacer? Okay, so they are actually starting to help. That's great. Oh, Pacer is dead. Well, that's kind of his fault. Let's be honest here. That wasn't my fault. Uh, you are in a bad spot, Laystrat. I have to say... I wouldn't recommend <laughs> you fighting this giant centipede. Oh, man. Okay, he's almost down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Butamus, where are you going? Uh, no. Where? Uh, can I not control him? Butamus. No. Bad. Butamus. What are you doing? How come I... Oh, you're extinguishing a fire? All right. I need to undraft and draft. Yeah, get the hell out of there. Is it dead? Oh, okay. It's dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on over here? Someone... F are they fighting each other? Okay, they're not. Alright. Let's undraft everyone now. Nagark, you can be undrafted too. Well, you got your gun. You weren't that useful. Unfortunately. But... Can we rescue? Ooh, we should probably... Where Where is uh, Butamus? We should probably rescue B-Dog. What were you doing in there? You were just not even helping? Or did you just go straight to sleep? Where is Butamus? There he is. Oh, he's a little hurt. So maybe we should have Nagark come uh, rescue Laystrat and we can get some positive relationship with them. There we go. Look, we're, we're helping you out. Look at that. Nagark, how about you go actually go save your comrades? That would be a nice thing. Um, prioritize treating. What is... Are you a slit? A group of pirates of the face? Oh my god. Are you serious? Whoa! Well, good thing we hired these people. Oh my god. Did they just drop down over here too? Or are they leaving? Oh, cargo pod. Oh. Chinchilla fur. Oh, that's worth a lot actually. Are they gonna go help? They're gonna go fight them? Oh my god, what the... Uh, I will take all of this, actually. I do not mind that at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll haul all of this. I'll haul all this packaged survivor meals. These artillery shells. They were setting up a base. Oh man, they were setting up a base. They got wrecked. They really got wrecked. Alright, let's see here. Um, oh, we probably should not do this yet, actually. Now that I think about it, these guys are still alive. And sending our dudes over here would probably be a horrible idea. We're not collecting any of this, right? Nope. Not collecting that. Not coming over here. 
Yeah, they're setting up a base. Hmm. Well, you guys were great. Totally protected us. Great stuff. Well, if they try and come over here, they're probably not going to live. Professor Rock is passing by? Where? I see no Professor Rock. Ooh, an AI personal core? That's nice. Did we save that person? Where's, uh, Nagark? You should probably treat your, uh, your buddies over here. I don't know why you're not. These guys are not looking good. Ryan has a burn on his leg, too, which is, isn't looking good either. As soon as he's done, go he go help uh, Ryan over here. No, no, no. Prioritize treating. What do you? I know you're in a bad mood. All right, I'm trying to help you out here, buddy. I know you're in an ugly environment. It doesn't look good. You should, if it's so bad, you probably should just sweep it up yourself, man. I'm telling you. Left comms raised, fully healed. Nice, they're all fully healed. That's great. This, though, I don't know what we're going to do about this. I don't think it dies, right? Yeah, it doesn't die. At least I don't think so. Mad animals. Are you kidding me? The muff the muffalo. Whoa. That was not good. Muffalo, you chose the wrong... Oh, wow. They just completely own the shit out of that dude. Muffalo, you chose the wrong day to attack us, I have to say. We have just a really good defense right now. Oh, well, I guess we're taking that. This guy's dead. Sorry, Professor Rock. <laughs> you, uh, unfortunately did not survive. There wasn't really much I could do about it. I'm sorry. Uh, frozen and won't spoil. We should probably haul him. Well, we got we definitely have some food, though. That We got that going for us. Ooh. Can we rescue this guy? I think we can. We I think we need to put down um, another furniture... And then we could figure that out. So we can play, plant that down. Uh, anyone awake? Butamus is awake. Go try and rescue this muffalo. And then probably should be trying to tame him as well. These muffalos. Oh, that muffalo is alive too? Oh, man. If we can get some muffalo friends right now, that would be pretty cool. I have to say, Ryan's over here. Should probably have Ryan rescue the other one. Rescue the muffalo, Ryan. Yeah, I know it would be really good food, but if we can rescue these... What are you doing? What are you doing? You was... Ryan is not a doctor? Whoa! Why are you just... What are you doing, Ryan? A man hunting pack? Oh my, are you serious? So boomalopes too? Oh, man. This freaking day, man, I swear. Uh, prioritize treating. I don't know why you put him over there, but that's that's where you put him. And I think this guy is more hurt. I don't know. Just try and tame him too. Is that all he had? Why are you like you barely treated him? You hardly did anything for him. That's not even worth. Can you do anything, Nagark? Why can you like barely treat these thing these guys? I don't understand that. I don't understand it at all. It's like oh yes, yeah, so I want to treat them, and then you know nothing happens. He does like two things to him, and then he dies. From bleeding out, more than likely. Beatmus is really healing the crap out of this guy, though. Whoa, whoa, pirates are fleeing? Why are they fleeing? What are they... <laughs> did, the, did the wargs come over and, and, and beat them? Or the boomalopes? The boomalopes came and killed them. Oh, that is just... That is just great. That is actually freaking amazing. Alright, these boomalopes are pretty injured. They're coming over. <laughs> I can't believe they just came and... And 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 beat him quite up pretty good. All right, Butte Miss, are you done treating this guy? Where'd you go, Butte Dog? You really need to treat him. He's gonna die if he doesn't get treated. He's got 71. You treated his cut. You didn't treat any of his his gunshots. A muffalo shaman is passing by. Well, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> Big explosions. We I guess we can try and save this guy too. I mean, we have the spot for it, right? Right there? Um, it would be really bad if he exploded while we tried to save him, though. Or in here, anywhere in there. Where is, I guess, Ryan? You can come and try and save this guy. Rescue the Boomalope! He's on our side for now. Oh, that's why he's out. Oh, I was wondering why he was putting him there. I was like, dude, that's not even like a freaking place to heal him. Where'd Butamus go? He's uh, over here making some food. Butamus, you need to prioritize treating the Boomalope, alright? 
so he doesn't die. Because if he does, it's gonna be a big boom. Definitely. Alright, that's good. We should probably get rid of uh, or deconstruct the little thingy over here. Because it's not really a bed, per se. Not at all. Can we move him now? No? We're just gonna leave him there? Can you save him? Rescue, yeah, rescue Boomalope. Cannot, non-reserved, there's a prisoner, oh, you stupid freaking hare. Why are you right there? You freaking butthole. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to drop down a sleeping spot in here. Like, right there, that's fine. And then, Butamis can go rescue the Boomalope. There you go, alright, hopefully you get nice and healed up. That other boom, that other boomalope, not happening. Or boomalope, uh, this dude totally dead, hundred percent. Uh, looks like a part of our power lines have broke, so a lot of our stuff isn't powered. So we're gonna have to fix that. So let's see here, power conduits. So reconnect this, because that dude took him out pretty hard, and I'm sure this muffalo died. Yep, he did. <laughs> I, I figured he was going to die since, for whatever reason, Butamus did not treat him properly. Uh, what is that on the ground right there? Steel shiv? Yeah, we can take that. Take these steel shivs. Is there something else right there? I feel like there is, but it's not showing it. How's this guy doing? Uh, he's got some infection. He's got quite a bit of infection. Where, where is Butamus or Nagark? Butamus is currently sleeping. And sleeping in the cold. Okay, we fixed it nice and good, so now the heat should warm uh, warm everyone back up. Alright, Butamis, you're awake. You should prioritize... Oh, you already are. You're gonna go treat him? Nice. Good job. I would really like if he would be able to survive. Now, that's pretty unlikely because this place is disgusting. But, you know... It would be nice. It really would be. Gunshot. And this, this Boomalope might live. He might actually live. And that would be really nice. We can start getting the work on granite walls, but we don't have the uh, the materials for it yet, because I don't think we have a stone cutting tape. Oh, we do. Um, and Bill make stone blocks. Can we not make marble blocks? Um, can we make stone walls? I mean, stone walls would be fine. I, I have no problem with being doing that. I'm just confused on what I can and cannot do. So, marble blocks, granite blocks. I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how that works, but I guess we're just going to leave it for now. We should probably should make uh, some stone blocks. Uh, do forever. Because we might as well. We just have like random granite and slate chunks. We might as well, you know, do something about it. Oh, look at that. So nice. Butamus coming over and feeding them. How's his health doing? How's his infection? Oh, someone wants help? Well, I guess we can do it. He'll probably be fine. Let's see. Oh, there they are. Okay, everyone, including B-Dog, draft up. We all need to go, like, somewhere over here and get our, our, our situations in order. So you go equip that survival rifle because you don't have one. Um, you probably go stand over here. Butamis, you go right there. Uh, Nagark, uh, maybe like right up. Oh, okay, can't control him. Nagark, go right there. B Dog, go like right here, and then Killer, go right here. Oh, and then we still have one more. Well, I think th they're gonna die, regardless. You can stand behind this. Doesn't look like it's going too well for him. I have to say. Ooh, his little shield thing broke. Oh no, the pump shotgun is missing. Alright, he's down. And they're running away. Great, what did you have? Uh, wooden mace, wooden mace. Ah, oh, god, you guys always have the poopiest stuff, I swear. What about this? What do these guys have? Fleeing in panic. They have a pistol and a charge rifle. Huh, is that, is that good? I don't really know. Whatever, they're running away. They're not going to survive. We can undraft everyone, though, now. Alright, well, we have ourselves a new colonist. I mean, well, since we're here. And I know Butamis has had a lot of names. Or not Butamis, uh, Yo has had a lot of names. But I'm thinking we're gonna, just going to drop it on him. Because I know he really likes the series. And no one else has said that they wanted a name. So until someone else says that they want a name, I guess we can just bring you back up. Yo, reborn. 
right here or version 3 there we go version 3 yo version 3 there we go and I think it would be a perfect time to end the episode and I'll see you guys next time with many more RimWorld episodes to come I'm Sergeant Kenai